Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Pisces. My fishy fish fish, sun, moon, rising and Venus for the month of August. Guys, please remember these are general readings, times fluid, energies can be reversed. So take what resonates, leave the rest for others to receive if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so very much loves welcome back fishies the monthly map spread started in june as uh, you know and basically we are looking into your month from a wider lens not just focusing on one energy like just romance and love or just money and career or whatever is just everything including and how they are interacting with each other yeah we're gonna see that and we are ready so let us go wow moon look at you all emo somehow i feel in some ways um some of you are working through some shadow work some of you processing your emotions what is this strength coming in yeah this is something that we need to address this is something that is kind of challenging our inner strength this is testing phase going on for you pisces emotionally testing phase going on what more for my pisces for my fishies there is fire and there is water look moon and strength two major arcanas coming in this could be you know you're dealing with some fire sign this also could be you dealing with some water sign your own self 10 of earth testing phase as i was telling you this is releasing what is not required anymore at all at every level physically spiritually mentally just release what is not required anymore sun i really feel that there is a fire sign involved specifically it's taking me to leo because sun and strength both are leo major arcanas you might have leo in your chart but this is really really happy right here and this is really really sad right here this is really extremes happening confusion seven of waters how you get to the sun choice is yours there are many ways but it seems like the more ways that come to you the more confused you are jumbled up in your emotions i hear jumbled up in your own emotions in your head and what we need to do is we have the messenger of air here this is confronting your truth this is no more running away aid of earth i'm sorry 10 of earth this is abundance this is so much of good times happy times coming in probably which is under covers right now because you are so overwhelmed with your own emotions and whatever this tragedy is the 10 of air that we need to release that is leading us to the confusion and we gotta address that fishies we need to face that wow look at the way it flew out my god empress you see even with the colors there's so much of amber and yellow and all of that on one side and all the blues and the greens and the colors of water on the other this is really yin and yang kind of a feeling that i'm getting the water and the fire empress is all about bringing in new energy this is creation this is you starting something new this could be you starting a family with that 10 of earth and the sun right there but that requires a lot of inner strength which is right now being tested by whatever this really intense emotional process that you are going through give me more for the messenger of earth two of fire see 
you being on that crossroads where it is for you to choose and how you're going to go about that is using your inner light that strength that i'm talking about this is the reason why i love this monthly map the way it interacts with the energy with each other it's just beautiful and i do not know how this monthly map came to me but it did and i've been enjoying doing this spread so much for sure give me some more for the empress please the new beginning that we have the crossroads that we are standing on for which we need to now face our emotions magician look you can make things happen yes you can of course you can we have the hermit but we need to really process as i said we need to process our emotions we need to introspect we need to do a lot of inner work and we need to listen to our inner voice we have not had that inner dialogue in a long time that is the reason why we need to face our truth we need to have that inner dialogue that we have been running away from because there is so much good that awaits you the sun the ten of earth the empress the magician do you see here except the ten of earth all major arcanas here look at this here major arcana starting with the major arcana all major arcanas on the right wow one more please for my fishies before we start clarifying these really really strong intense energies here we have 10 10 already wow we have 8 9 10 i see so there is something that is getting you know close that is getting wind up or we need to wind up look eight of waters this is eight of cups this is you turning your back away from whatever that did not serve you and planning the new future being on that vessel this could also be for some people traveling winding up things from here and traveling traveling towards your sun towards this new phase that's waiting for you this could very well be a new relationship this could very well be a new job this could very well be a new idea that has been brewing for a while this could be so many new things this could be you finding your own new version this is moving away from this pain page of fire this is bringing in a new enthusiasm in the picture the world look the world coming in as the overall energy with that sun there is something absolutely beautiful that you can manifest the power is in your hand this is manifestation this is you being told that whatever you want truly and if you have faith in it you can manifest it so rather than being all melancholic and running away from your emotion let the sun illuminate whatever has been in the dark as i said in the beginning i feel some of you are doing your shadow work some of you are going through that dark night of the soul phase some of you need to address some ugly truths some of you really need to clarify that confusion get out of that because you are at the crossroads where there needs this inner dialogue and there needs this release nine of swords this shadow work is coming in again and again you are left in your head you know tortured by your own emotions another major arcana coming in and this is talking about all balancing energies this is all yin and yang as i was talking about look a goblet of fire and a goblet of water that water and fire that i told you about in the beginning this is insane i love the synchronicity of the cards coming in and it'll take a lot of inner strength and you are encouraged by the spirit that look it's all in front of you and we need to address ten of air this ten of swords what do we have three of pentacles working through it processing your pain processing your emotions yes the sun spirit 
I am so excited for you. This is going to bring in so much of balance in life. Six of pentacles. This new beginning that you are working on that you can manifest. It's in your hand to manifest all that. Yes. The confusion that we have. Why do we have this confusion when we can see and we can feel we can have this all in our hand. We can have all and more. Then what is this confusion? Why are my fishies confused spirit? What is this seven of cups? Seven of waters. Look, it is something from the past. Some pain, some grief, some conflict that we have not so far processed because there's a lot of learning that came and it was not an easy lesson that came your way page of pentacles the confusion is there because we are right now replaying what happened uh, going through the brooding phase rather than looking at it from the perspective of so what did i learn from it why this happened you know the self-analysis the self-introspection that inner dialogue because we were not having it that is the reason why we are left in that state of confusion and that is the reason why we are told address that ugly truth because you are at the crossroads that you can make things happen but if you do not open your mind if you do not pull these keys and open this door because this is in your hand this opportunity might just slip your slip out of your hands look the world card and all the keys right here open up that door open up your inner self open up and have that inner dialogue so that you can find out and figure out which one of these keys open this new brand new world that you can very very well manifest into your reality you can bring this energy into your reality messenger of air what is this truth that we need to address look we have the six of cups and the six of wands we thought them something from the past that is going to work that is going to be supremely successful that is going to bring us a lot of happiness probably it did not that is the reason why we are so sad about things so stop living in the past the past might have been really really great and right now you are going through a tough phase maybe you lost it all that is the reason why you are down to the ground now but it's not that it's not going to come to you maybe there is more that is coming to you let us address the 10 of earth right now please clarify the 10 of earth for my fishies 10 of earth please what is this 10 of pentacles i feel that whatever this loss is because it clearly feels like the past was really really good but something happened because of which you felt down to the ground there was some conflict probably some partnership caved in you know fell apart this could be partnership of any kinds that left you really really in your head worried and caught up in your emotions quite a bit it's like you know dealing with your blues we have the devil and the justice look it's wow did we get carried away did we let our ambition take over our sense of being fair or is it somebody else who did that it could be either or remember the energies can be reversed so someone's ambition whether it's yours or somebody else's definitely over took the sense of fairness that is the reason why in the past even though there was a lot of things that were successful things came crashing down now you are told a brand new world is waiting for you once you have that inner dialogue once you process whatever you have been avoiding to process we would know whether the ambition was our inner devil taking over and how to balance this now in the future to be at that abundant position to be in this beautiful fulfilling satisfying phase but addressing this over indulgence or over ambitiousness there's 
balance that's coming in probably there was no balance in there and we went through all of this that was the learning that is what we are processing that once we bring in the right amount of ambition matched with fairness there was somebody who was not being fair in the past now you are told well the balance is needed for us to take it long term to a fire this crossroads that we are at please clarify for my fishies this two of fire okay lots came in we have the two of pentacles clearly you are right now processing ace of swords look we need to cut the crap we need to address this whatever that we have not been addressing because we have been so down with our emotions and feeling very very intense a uh, new sense of clarity is going to come when we are going to address that and what is that that is the moon the moon is coming in again look it is only with this sword of truth that you are going to be able to get out of the shadow get out of the darkness this is what is going to bring in the light look through the gray clouds it is only this sword that can bring in the sunlight so that you can take that leap of faith into the new world we have the magician that is number one with the fool zero we have a new beginning on the charts here so you need to really weigh your options here as to what do you want to do because clearly you have avoided this inner dialogue this introspection for a very long time look at this five of swords five of cups with that confusion and this is what we need to address now with the hermit five of pentacles coming in five 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 in itself is the number of transition is the number of transformation is the number of change that is needed your angels telling you that you need to now release whatever is from the past that is holding you back to get to this beautiful new beginning that is going to be so fruitful that is going to be so abundant with that 10 of earth and the empress coming in but we need to address our insecurities here more than sense of abandonment i feel the insecurities that we feel because we were successful in the past it's not that we were not but something happened this devil took over that is the reason why we are where we are empress with the king of cups look there is something beautiful that speaks to you that is in tune with your emotions that's coming in and how do we do that it is through this processing you are told again and again to process there is no running away from this pain you have the power to turn this pain into pleasure this loss into victory it's the way you are going to address this pain through love and understanding and wisdom so you can move away and bring in this new childlike enthusiasm in this new world that awaits you this is really processing that pain magician coming in again look this is processing this pain and releasing these emotional bondages that you have around your neck and around your heart and moving away we have death and world dude i mean could this be any more clearer than what we have right now we have the death we have world we have sun uh, clearly it's going to take a lot of inner strength to bring in that balance we are off balance we are completely right now drowned in our emotions we are working through our you know shadow side we are right now feeling really at the bottom but this is where all the transformation this is where all the learning this is where all the transition happens and you have this in you magician showing up twice moon showing up twice this is addressing those hidden emotions this is you processing that pain and how you transform that into this brand new beautiful successful fulfilling satisfying very very abundant future that awaits you full of joy and love and happiness and balance that's coming in 
and success, money, all of that. Let us get you a final word from the Yogic Path Oracle deck. Final guidance message for my fishy spirit. What's the final word for my fishies, please? The spread that we have in front of us. Hanuman. Wow. This is protection coming your way, by the way. Hanuman also represents friendship. He was the ultimate loyal friend of Lord Rama. And before I even read the actual message, look what I'm taken to. The moon and the sun, the water and the fire, the yin and the yang. That is the balance. That is what we need. And with patience, we can achieve and manifest anything. And the cosmos is going to help us achieve that. Hanuman, the god of courage, takes that inner strength to address this. Yes. Hanuman represents the evolved mind, the potential. We all have to no longer be enslaved to our thoughts that nine of swords I'm taken to, but rather surpass them. When Lord Rama asks Hanuman, how do you look upon me? Hanuman answers. When I believe I'm the body, then I'm your faithful servant. When I know I'm the soul, I know myself to be a spark of your eternal light. And when I have the vision of truth, you and I, my Lord, are one and the same. To draw upon Hanuman symbolizes you are aware of this truth being one with the cosmos, manifesting that, being your own magician, making magic happen in your life. You are more than your physical body, your ego self, your personality, your soul. The truth is that you are the divine, as we all are, split from the same source. Continue to practice meditative states where you are reminded of this universal truth to aid in your Evolvement. This is evolution at its full bloom, my fishies, and you are in the heart of it right now. You're in the heart of the storm. You can manifest anything and everything that you wish in your life. We just need to work through our emotions patiently and bring that yin and yang balance. And on that note, my fishies, I'm gonna take your leave. Thank you so very much for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of God. Thank you.